In this video, I'll be using group policy to disable Brave Wallet in Brave Browser. I'm starting this video from a GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video and I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also in the bottom of the page, you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find videos about my Windows Server setup and there is also a video about installing Brave Browser policy templates to manage Brave Browser settings via group policy. But for this video, I will not be using policy templates and that's because the settings that I need are not available in policy templates and I will be disabling Brave Wallet by deploying registry entries in Windows registry and here you can see the policy that I will be configuring and also all the values that I will be deploying and now I will begin this video by going to my VMware workstation where I have my Windows Server environment and here I will be creating my group policy so I will go to tools group policy management I will right click on group policy objects and select new I will name the policy Brave Settings, then I will click OK. I will expand Group Policy Objects, select the policy that I created, then I will right click on it, select Edit, and the policy that I will be creating will be for my computer, so I will go to Computer Configuration, Preferences, Windows Settings, and select Registry. Then I will right click in the window here and select New, and then select the Registry Item. For the action, I will leave it at update. For the hive, I will leave it at local machine. And for the key path, I will go back to my GitHub page because like I said before, I have all the values that I will be using here. So I will copy the key path from here, go back to my VM, insert the value here. For the value name, I will do the same. So we need this, copy it and then paste it here. For the value type, I will select Reg D word and for the value data I will enter one. Then I will click apply and OK. And that's it for creating the policy. Now we can close this window. I will go to details and for GPO status I will select user configuration settings disabled because this policy currently has only computer settings in it. And after creating my group policy I need to assign it to an organization unit that is holding the computers where I want to disable the Brave wallet. In my case, the organization unit will be this one. And this organization unit holds all of my computers. So I will select the policy that I created and then drag and drop it to that organization unit. Then I will click OK here. And as you can see, the policy appeared here and also in the list here. And that's basically it. Now to test this policy, I will go to one of my client machines that I have here. I will open Brave. As you can see, currently I have the Brave Wallet enabled and that's because even though we created the policy, the group policy didn't have enough time to update on this machine. So I will go to my start menu, I will enter CMD, I will open it up and here I will type GP update and I will press enter. And now let's wait a bit. And as you can see, the policy was updated and we still have the wallet here. And that's because for the settings to apply, we need to relaunch Brave. So I will close it and then I will reopen it. And I no longer have the wallet icon in here. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.